the Athletics can sweep the Astros the final time Houston's visiting Oakland. Well, that feels like it'd be a pretty good day in the books. This is a historic game for the Astros. Not only is it the final game here at the Oakland Coliseum for them, but they have a overall record of 54 and 54 in this stadium. If they win today, they'll become the only American League team to finish their all time record with a winning mark in this stadium. We told you it was sizzling on the bump. JP sizzle JP Sears 21st start for the Oakland Athletics and I think JP Sears has shown us just what sort of a gutsy competitor he is. Jenny I think last couple starts I think proved that. Jose Altuve leading off 3 0 pitches hit sharply past Abraham Toro give him another hit in this building 119 for Jose as he leads off with a base hit here in the first. Brings up Alex Bregman. As he drills this one to left field, that'll be down for a hit. Playing it there and left is Miguel Andujar. So the Astros Blummer, who scored a total of two runs in the first two games of the series, off to a quick start today. So runners at the corners and one out for Yiner Diaz. That's popped up. Don't know if it's going to be deep enough. It might be, but Jose Altuve's tagging. We saw Butler throw out somebody yesterday. He's going to get another chance today. And Altuve, with a little better speed, crosses the plate. And the Astros do have that first lead of this series. It's 1 0 on a sack fly by Yiner Diaz. And so Jeremy Pena reaches first in the hit by pitch as Alvarez goes down to second. There's Jake Myers. But up the third baseline, and it's gloved by Sears. Goes to third, and they get the force there. What a play by JP. Heads up as Toro took the throw. They force Alvarez, and that ends the inning for the Astros. They get one on two hits. Hunter Brown gets the final game of this three-game series and gets a chance to pitch the final game for the Astros here at Oakland Coliseum. He is coming in on a strong run. He's also pitched well inside the American League West, three and two with a 2.89 ERA. Lawrence Butler stands in. The first pitch, he lines into center field, a base hit. You can't get this guy out. He's trying for two. The throw by Myers, not in time. And a hustle headlong double for Lawrence Butler to start the bottom of the first inning. Locked and loaded, and look out when Butler's at the plate. And now here comes Andujar, the 2-0 to Andujar, slice it down the right field line. In the corner, it's down, it's a fair ball, it's extra bases. Butler will come around third, he'll score. Andujar in a second with a double, and a span of four pitches, the A's have tied the game at one. This offense is clicking on all cylinders. Uh, Duhar is a 12th double and his 26th run batted in. P. Sears facing Mauricio Dubon here to lead off the second. Swing and a miss for Dubon and J.P. Sears logging his first strikeout today. Here's John Singleton. John grounds one down the line and the first base side and it's off the glove of Seth Brown and John's going to go to second. He'll easily get there with all this foul territory here. Brown runs it down in front of the Astros bullpen. That was a play that looked like Brown should have made with the pitcher covering. So Singleton at second base for Jose Altuve. And Altuve lines this one down the left field line. That's headed for the corner, and it one hops off the wall. Singleton around third, he will score. Altuve racing the second, the throw there beats him. So it will be an RBI single for Altuve as Singleton scores. And it is a two to one Astros lead. And now here comes Zach Geloff. Swing and a miss, Brown gets Geloff again. That's strikeout number one for Hunter. One out, runner on, here's Kyle McCann, the catcher. Hunter comes back with back-to-back -back strikeouts, getting Kyle McCann. It'll be an infield hit for Schumann. Brown to second base, and the inning stays alive. Now the Astros have to deal with Lawrence Butler. Got him. Big strikeout for Hunter Brown, getting the red hot. Lawrence Butler, that was a pitch that Blummer wanted up to Butler. 98. For the 98. The one out of the third, that'll bring up the designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. And a swing and a miss. J.P. Sears gets Jordan Alvarez, and that's two Ks now. Well, it's that sweeper that just takes off. And I think, you know, what you see from J.P. Sears with this pitch is it almost, the visual tells you that that pitch is looking like it's riding upwards up and away. So Brown is two for two. Here is that Geloff swing and a miss. Geloff goes down for the second time today. That's five strikeouts in seven career at bats facing Hunter Brown. McCann struck out in the second inning. Long hold by Hunter using that pitch clock to his advantage again. And that's strike three on the inside corner. McCann couldn't pull the trigger. You noticed that earlier in the yeah. game against Lawrence Butler. Hunter really working with that pitch clock. Called third strike, and that'll do it 
Schumann looks at a third strike. That's six strikeouts for Brown. Three in the second inning and three here consecutively in the fourth. Now the 1 0 to McCormick. This ball hit high in the air to center field. Bladé is back. He is near the wall. Has Chaz done it? Yes, he has. Chaz McCormick hits his second career home run against J.P. Sears. This one in an A's uniform and has his first home run against a lefty this season. 3 1 Astros. Yeah, it's been a while. We got to figure out what Ma's doing back there. Hey, Ma! The meatloaf! That was well strong. That was a bomb. And 420 to center field. Butler doubled and scored in the first. Swing and a miss. He got Butler up on 96. That's a hot hitter to get back to back at bats with a strikeout. Diner leads off here in the sixth inning. And he hits one hard to left field. That'll be down for a hit, and that'll go to the wall. And Duhar threw out Altuve earlier in this game, and that's going to be a stand-up double for Yiner Diaz as he ropes a double to left. The Astros can tack on to this 3-1 to one lead with Jeremy Paney at the plate. This one up the middle, it hits the pitcher, and that's going to direct into left field for a base hit. Around third comes Diaz, he's going to score. Jeremy Pena, the RBI single, and the Astros lead 4-1. Four to one. Four pitch walk, and now the A's will bring the tying run to the plate here with nobody out in the sixth inning. Here's the 1-2 to Zach Geloff. Ground ball up the middle, coming in, Pena, he fields, shovels to Altuve for one on the first double play. 6-4-3. Boy, did the Astros need that. Toro goes to third, but two have been retired. Got him. Give him 12 straight starts of six innings or more. Hunter Brown has been phenomenal for the Astros, and he walks off leading 4-1. to one. So Chaz, following his home run, hit by a pitch. The Astros with runners on first and second with nobody out. For Altuve. That ball's off. Fair ball down the left field line. One run's going to score. Singleton will cross the plate. Chaz heading to third. He'll be held up. Jose Altuve with his third hit of the game. And the Astros add to their lead. It's 5-1. to one. So here's Bregman. Bregman is one for three on the day. Well, there's a fair ball and will score two runs. Astros piling on here with a three-run seventh inning. They now lead this game 7-1 to one on a Breggy two-RBI double. The Astros now have a runner on third with one away. First pitch, and he hits it to center field. That should be, bring a run in. Blade over to his right makes the catch. Bregman tagging. He'll score. It's 8-1 to one on the sacrifice fly by Yiner Diaz. Rooker's the batter. He's their best. Into center field, looping towards Jake Myers. He'll come on and make a catch and roll over to secure it for the final out of the inning. Jake Myers makes a go another good defensive play to end the seventh inning. Astros lead 8-1. to one. On Duhar with two outs. This one towards first. Singleton will field it. He'll flip to King, and that's an Astros winner today, a 3-3 three and three road trip. The Astros become the only American League team to have a winning record in the history of the Oakland Coliseum other than the A's themselves as they end up 55 and 54 all time in this building. Blummer, that's a great way to head back home on this, uh, on this long trip back to Houston.